Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna tell you before I get into the video that I did get my venue. The party will be Friday, June 1st. So if you guys want to come to the party, I'm gonna send everybody an invite who came to the Black Panther event. Um, if you are older, you may not wanna come to this cause this is like a turn up party. We're celebrating, we're about to have a good old time. You can only bring one guest with you. You have a week to RSVP. You should know if you can get Friday off or get off work early Friday. It starts at six. It's gonna be from six to about 11 o'clock at night. Um, we'll have DJ there free food tea samples we're gonna have all of that stuff we want people to be there on time we will be showing a demonstration video on all the products and stuff like that so I am so excited you know what I'm saying it's gonna be a really fun time and so if you want to go once I send you the invite please RSVP right away there's going to be only room for 150 people once the guest list is at 150 that's it we'll not be adding anybody else there'll be no scragglers if you wanna come, you have to be on the guest list. This is a private event, private party, and there will be security there. So if you wanna turn up with me and come to my tea launch party June 1st, make sure you RSVP, and I can't wait to see everybody there. So anyhow, I wanna come on here and bring you guys some Cardi B tea. So if you guys don't know, honey, Cardi B's been going through it lately, and like I told you guys before, she was not going to be able to make it through this entire summer and doing all these performances. Cardi B recently announced that, you know, her being pregnant and all this dancing and everything she went through at Coachella, it was just too much for her to the point where she felt like she couldn't even breathe. I told y'all she was doing way too much being pregnant, but y'all was saying, you know what, whatever, she's living her best life, this is a new day and age, pregnant women can do anything. Okay, well, you know what, you can't ignore your body and I'm glad that Cardi B is listening to her body and not to her crazy fans who half have never been pregnant before, so they're just trying to hype her up to keep acting a fool on stage. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video that Cardi B posted about how she was going to stop performing and her last performance was this past weekend at the Broccoli Fest in DC. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey y'all, what's popping? So I just want to make this a little clear and everything. Broccoli Fest will be my last performance for um, a little while and everything because you know, shorty keep growing and it's just like, you know, I be looking like I be looking like I be moving everything, but in reality, <laughs> a bitch barely can breathe. And now, uh, I want to thank y'all for understanding. I'll be back for the Bruno Mars tour and everything. And thank y'all so much. I just want to let y'all know that Broccoli Fest will be the nail. I just want to let y'all know that Broccoli Fest will be my last performance. And thank you very much. I fucking love y'all motherfuckers. And make sure y'all keep checking out my album Invasion of Privacy and thank you. You see, I can barely breathe now. I can barely breathe now. I ate like six chicken wings and I barely can breathe right now. Now, I hate to say I told you so, but I told y'all her being pregnant and doing all that damn dancing and gyrating was just too damn much. And like I said, I'm glad she listened to her body. But another crazy thing is that, you know, accidents can happen and you don't want to risk that baby. And what happened at the Broccoli Fest was definitely really scary. If you guys do not know, there's a video that's going viral of Cardi B. She's in a golf cart. This was after she got done performing on stage. They were trying to drive her back to her dressing room and the golf cart almost tipped over. So this was really scary. Thank God security was there to help grab the golf cart. But had it tipped over and she fallen on her stomach or something could have happened to her child I definitely think she needs to slow down and I'm glad that she's saying that this is going to be her last performance I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary All right, so you guys just saw that video of her cart almost tipping over. So that was really scary. So thank God the security guards were there to help grab that cart and protect her. Now I understand for Cardi being a first time mom, you know, when you're a first time mom, you think you can do it all. But honestly, being pregnant in your third and fourth trimester, 
in itself is a job, okay? Your body goes through a lot when you're pregnant and you're trying to, you know, survive for two. That's extra blood in your system, you know, extra oxygen that you need. So, you know, I understand her being a first time mom and listening to her crazy fans. She thought she could do it all, but she's slowly learning that she cannot and that she needs to rest and she needs to protect her baby and that her child is what's important first and foremost. It's not about the money. It's not about the fans. It's not about the fame. It's about that baby in her belly. And I'm glad that she's taking heat and I'm glad that she's no longer performing until after she has her child. So I think that's going to be the best thing for Cardi B because, you know, just everything she was doing on stage at Coachella, while a lot of y'all thought it was cute and, you know, praiseworthy, I was looking at this like, you know, she's doing a bit too much. And if she thinks that she can keep shaking her ass and bending over and twerking and doing all of this up until she's nine months on stage, you know, it's crazy because when you think about it, when you watch a performance, you're only watching that, you know, 30 minute performance, but you're forgetting she had to practice that. She had to spend weeks and days and hours perfecting that. So what we saw was the end result, but imagine how much time she had to put into practicing that routine and those dances. That's a lot of stress on your body when you're pregnant. So I'm super happy that she's choosing to take a break and listening to her body, okay? So now some other drama that happened during Broccoli Fest is that Cardi B got on stage and basically low-key threw shots at Nicki Minaj. She said that ever since she's gotten pregnant, you know, bitches have been starting beef with her. And then she used Nicki Minaj's favorite line. If you guys remember at the MTV VMAs when Nicki Minaj called herself checking Miley Cyrus and she said, Miley, what's good? And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Well, Cardi B just pulled a Nicki Minaj and said the same thing. So a lot of folks are saying that these were shots at Nicki Minaj. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Yes, bitch. We're going to be forever. Yeah. You know what? Ever since I got pregnant, all of a sudden, I got this new beat. Hey. Every day, bitches got something to say. Hey. Wait till I drop this baby. What's good? Right. What's up? What's up? Bitches is talking crazy. Watch when I drop this baby. Hey. Hey. Oh. What's up? I said what was said. Well, in my personal opinion, that definitely sounded like a shot at Nicki Minaj. But like I said, Nicki Minaj said the same thing to Miley Cyrus. And now Cardi B is saying the same thing to Nicki Minaj. So it's going to be really interesting to see how all this plays out. It's going to be interesting to see if Nicki Minaj ends up responding to her. You know, so this whole situation is crazy. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you guys feel about Cardi B basically saying that she's no longer going to perform because she needs to think about what's best for her baby? How do you guys feel about the video of her almost falling at Brock? Fest. And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about those shots that she fired at Nikki while on stage? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Nikki! <laughs>